Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana, and today we have a cast. And I didn't plan this one. I I guess I never really planned one, but I have been making the world and kind of making making makeovers, giving giving makeovers. Sorry, I slept better than yesterday, but I still feel like my brain's kind of like foggy. I did a cast on a random sim, and I normally, I mean, I like to do casts as in I start one, like a new sim, but today I felt like using a base. So I found this girl like walking around the town. I was like, okay, you're the one I'm gonna give a makeover to. So what I did um, was made her more plus size. And you might be like, no, no, that's kind of random. I mean, if you think about it, yeah, I probably wouldn't call a video skinny girl or really thin girl or really well curvy mm. but I don't like labeling but at the same time I feel like we need some labels every now and then I feel like skinny is just such a norm that we need to label things as curvy just so people will look at it and just see that it's okay hopefully that makes sense and I was like hmm I really want more diverse sims in my town even in just a regular EA not EA um well, whatever. In <laughs> the regular Sims 4 town, the person, you know, the, the people that made the game, um, obviously, not particularly EA, but whatever. The people that made the Sims 4, they obviously, like, for example, Strangerville that came out. Strange, Strangerville? Strangerville? I don't know. That came out a while ago, and you just don't really see much fat, big, curvy, obese, extra large, what do you want to call it? Like, Sims are more than just average. And made me like think about my own save and how I want that to be and if I ever really do want to have a game that's just full of stick thin you know sims and I guess I kind of do tend to go towards the skinnier but that's just because in my opinion in my personal opinion I like to have a body that skinny I like to have maybe some curves but not be more than average right so it's hard for me to kind of go outside my boundary and just make sims that are just continuous um go outside my boundary and make sims that are different than the ideal body that i would have and that i think is healthy but it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with bigger bodies like totally that's not what i'm trying to say here i just i guess i'm just trying to justify why i just make so much skinny sims but it really doesn't matter some people just make a lot of bigger sims black sims white sims asian sims whatever skin thing skin skin things skin things and i for once I want to challenge myself and do things outside my normal cast routine you know i do make dark sims black sims and mixed sims um but i guess big girls like actual proper curvy girls you know or, or thick girls not just our fat girls or, or thick girls i feel like there's not enough of those and i want to test myself and i want to do something that's not just my ideal you know my ideal body for myself I just, I, I think I need to stop putting my ideal perception of things onto Sims. This, this it just, this is getting such a weird story, but I hope you guys can kind of like understand what I'm trying to say here. I'm on a tied, um, tied limit, so I probably shouldn't be recording a video like 14 minutes before I have to go and I haven't done my hair, my outfit, and my makeup and pack my bag. I haven't done anything. Um, but that's like this short and, well, that's kind of like a long, well, it's the long version of a short story that why I do this Sim like this. Okay. Proper story, that's kind of why I have the title like this. But uh, anyway, sorry, it's a lot of rambling. I'm trying as a cut as well. So this is going to be like one hell of an or unorganized video. But that's just me. That's just my life. So we'll just have to deal with it. Either way, I love her. She turned out really, really, really great. She, I love her. And I love her curves. 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 I love her curves. And I feel like I should, I should use my imagination more often. I'm at fault for always doing the same thing as well. This is because it was a habit. And I think it's time to break the habit. And I have no time left to talk anymore. So, bye. <laughs> bye.